So today marks the 10 year anniversary of the poaching of Tandi on Kareka Game Reserve. It's a day that I will never forget for the rest of my life. And my very first impression was this animal has got no chance. And yeah, to my absolute amazement, and it's still just it's like a miracle that she started to, she moved and, and you could see her ears started to flick and her tail came up. Uh, so much has happened in these 10 years, uh, starting with that initial response that the reserve had to put together in grappling with how to save Tandi and then the sort of relentless efforts by many people to piece Tandi together and help her healing process um, flowing into amazing joy of her first baby and and the repeat of that over and over and over again which has been just phenomenal um, and I think what really does move me about this particular animal is she has given us the opportunity to speak and show the brutality of poaching because she her story has a happy ending um, and every time she's had a baby we've been able to remind people that this is not what normally happens. Usually these animals are completely mutilated. They die very painful deaths um, out there alone in the wilderness. Um, and her story has been different and that's really given us uh, uh, an incredible chance to show people what is happening to our wildlife the world over. Yeah, in spite of that scarring that's there, she is so special this lady and all that she represents the other legacy that Tandi has left for us to to enjoy is this inspiration that an animal um, who we saw just desperately wanted to survive she fought her way uh, back from the brink of death um, she has survived uh, against incredible odds and she has become an icon for what it takes, I think, to overcome um, life against enormous adversity. We, were, we weren't actually aware that Tandi was even pregnant and we got the message that Tandi had had a calf and that it was um, a boy and that we would most certainly name it after my dad. Um, so that is how Colin came to be. Um, yeah, so we go to, to extra lengths to protect every single rhino on this reserve and to play our part to, to help rhino globally because more than anything we want this bull to grow, to sire many, many offspring um, and to live the longest and, and most happy and peaceful life that he can. And, and that is really the story of the planet uh, for me. It's, we face seemingly insurmountable odds and yet uh, an animal like this has shown me personally that if you are willing to guts it out and to fight every day, which is what she's had to do, there, there can be amazing joy and success um, and an exhilaration to what we do as we succeed in it. So she has inspired not only myself but countless other people to um, fight for rhino and then through that I think we've all grown our response into other species. We are now in a, in a chapter in our history where we're growing that into habitat expansion and, and the formation of landscapes and connected conservation, accelerated rewilding and, and all these things really have been inspired by, uh, ab above all other things that have been inspired by Tandi. The fact that we can uh, celebrate her life 10 years after someone tried to take it is phenomenal, but the contribution and the response and the success that we can show um, during these 10 years is, is amazing. So. Yeah, I just, I'm, I'm full of inspiration and admiration for this amazing animal. Tandi, 10 years today, congrats my girl. You've been absolutely astonishing. We salute you.